Hello, let's discuss some strategies specific to the verbal section. As far as the verbal and the reasoning section is concerned in CAT, it is 30 questions and 70 minutes. Before we actually discuss what the section looks like, it does not make great sense to move into a strategy. The section last year from whatever the feedback that we could get out of multiple slots has gotten wonderfully standardized. The 30 questions safely distributed into 21 questions of verbal ability and 9 questions of analytical or logical reasoning. Now that we are specifically discussing these 21 questions, it is also necessary that we know what the 9 questions of logical or analytical reasoning play a role of. Say for example, those 9 questions of analytical and logical reasoning are specifically into 4 sets and these sets more or less play the role of a mood changer or probably something that engages you into the paper. The remaining 21 questions of verbal ability are also more or less standardized if you consider CAT 2012 into picture. Approximately 9 to 10 questions are of reading comprehension which are safely divided into 3 RCs that is what you call reading comprehension as. These 3 RCs are followed either by 3 questions or 4 questions and a standard format was either a 3 plus 3 plus 3 or a 3 plus 3 plus 4. If we keep aside these 9 to 10 questions, there were 3 questions of para jumbles which were arranging the sentences to form a coherent paragraph. 3 questions were of logical continuation. If it's a logical continuation, we have to find out the sentence that continues a given paragraph either logically through an idea, concept or tense or some other kind of a logical continuation which you can figure out. One new pattern type which was found in the last two online cats was a logical discontinuity. It was easy but it was new and therefore there was a set of an audience which did find it challenging. Logical discontinuity had four sentences in it out of which we had to find out that one sentence which does not fit into the coherence when the remaining three are put in in the form of a paragraph. That brings us to 9 to 10 questions of reading comprehension, 3 of para jumbles, 3 logical, discontinu three logical continuity, 1 logical discontinuity and after that approximately 2 questions of grammar which were either in the form of sentence correction or error detection. One to two questions were of vocabulary. Now this vocabulary though was not directly asked as vocabulary, it was either in the form of passage completion or in the form of a fill in the blanks. That other question could have been analogies. Apart from that, the one or two questions that were left were either of word usages or of phrasal verbs. With this kind of a paper pattern, what comes out very clearly is that these 90 questions can logically be separated into three particular things. One is logical reasoning of 9, reading comprehension of 9 or 10 and the remaining 10 to 12 of fast food or the kind of questions which we can claim as something which can be solved in around 1 to 1 and half minutes per question. Given this kind of a structure, now it has become for the fact that it is predictable, we can go in with good amount of homework and a strategy and can sort of be at least 90% sure of hitting the strategy spot on in the paper. Forthcoming, we'll be looking at strategies on how to approach this paper. Strategy 3 is for that category of students who always feel that the verbal section can further be categorized into three sections. One is RC, reasoning and the remaining. Even this can be a good strategy if practiced well. And here I've seen is that people 
the ones who treat these three as three internal subsections have a very different approach to a paper is not that of cracking a paper but of saving a paper which also is not a bad strategy saving a paper see you know your strengths say for example i am a taker and i feel reasoning is extremely strong i also am reasonably emotional as far as the paper is concerned if i start off with reading comprehension and i find the comprehension not to my taste that makes me emotional and that spoils the remaining sections so i safely take up a strategy of approaching one which i am damn confident with my confidence level with analytical reasoning or logical reasoning is extremely high so what will i do i'll pick up those nine questions go aggressive with them finish them off in something like say 16 to 18 minutes that takes care of that one subsection also safely ensures me of around nine questions out of these 30 then i'll move into fast food the remaining 12 questions which are para jumbles logical continuation logical discontinuity word usage phrasal verbs analogies or grammar in terms of sentence correction or error detection an above average student should ideally be cracking 8 to 9 of them out of these 12 and that too pretty confidently so that puts him in a very good condition what happens is that 16 to 18 minutes go off in reasoning another 16 to 18 say probably 20 minutes go on in the fast food so these 18 these 20 put together 40 minutes where i am done with nine questions of reasoning and around 12 questions of fast food puts me comfortable with 21 questions 21 might not be my attempts but even a 17 to 18 confident attempts with 30 more minutes to go and 3 rcs to go at least secures me of somewhere close to a 90 plus percent i'll probably early 90s now the remaining half an hour i will go heavy on the 3 rcs take it as a proper subsection collect myself though this strategy is not something which i personally would take it up because that just means that i've slogged for 40 minutes intellectually and finally i'm entering the one that demands the most concentration out of me that is reading comprehension even if not advisable this is a very safe strategy because here the purpose is not actually going head on with the paper it is about saving a decent percentile and then moving so here 30 minutes to go 3 rcs to go if i safely take up say 2 rcs crack them out third rc take up one question out of it i am still sitting on my original target of cracking somewhere close to 27 questions in 70 minutes and with the perfect hope that at least an 85% of them will be right for this kind of a strategy also it demands a high level of stamina and concentration and a lot of practice my advice to all the takers is that they practice this thing with at least 5 to 6 sectionals where they don't take up full length test but only sectionals practice examine their performance and finally reach a stage where you decide what becomes your best shot at this particular strategy happy practicing